Hi everybody, thanks so much for coming today. I am making another recipe from my mom's 1940 cookbook, the Women's Home Companion Cookbook. I believe that's what it's called. Yes, it is what it's called. Poor thing, look at it. I know I've shown you some of this before if you've watched me with this book. It is so fragile. It is so fragile. My dad puts uh, put uh, duct tape on it to try to keep it together. This recipe is called Scalloped Peaches, and it comes from page 249. So if you have this book, there you might find it. It's a very simple recipe. It's a very rich recipe. Um, it's got butter and uh, brown sugar, and uh, it's it, for us in today's world, it's, I think it's a little over the top, but we're gonna try it and see how it tastes. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do here to prepare these for peeling is all you need to do is make just a nice little X on the top and I wouldn't go maybe an eighth of an inch is probably all you don't want to go too far into the skin or into the peach you want to get the skin though fully cut yeah see see how far I'm going in with that uh, knife I bet that's about an eighth of an inch so I'm going to do this crisscross on all these peaches and then I, oops, almost a little too far there. And then I'm going to plunge these into boiling water for about 60 seconds. That's all it's going to take. And I'll take them out of the water, put them on a plate, and just let them cool off. It's certainly enough to handle. And once those have cooled, this peeling is going to come right off. You'll you'll see it. It's just awesome. So I'm going to get this finished. And I'm going to put these in the water for 60 seconds, and then we'll be back. Hi, we are back. Now I let my peaches cook in boiling water for 60 seconds. I took them out and put them on a plate to cool and they've been cooling just about an hour. They're very easy to handle and I'm going to show you how we're going to peel and slice them. The reason I want to show you how I'm going to slice it is these are what they call cling peaches. There are freestone peaches and there are cling peaches and a cling peach is really what it means is that it's going to cling to that pit a freestone is you know how you can screw it and it comes right out and there's the pit and you pull it well this friend of mine gave me these beautiful peaches they happen to be cling so that's what we're going to deal with so come on down I'm going to show you how I'm going to peel them and then I'll show you how I'm going to slice I'm just going to set these aside here for a second so I'm going to see it's nice look at this it literally peels right off do you see there Right, so I'm going to peel one here for you, just like that, just like that. Beautiful. And this looks like a very nice peach. I don't see any bruising in there, so that's a nice thing. So I'm just going to kind of pull this off down here, like so. Now, because these are cling, you have to kind of gently, uh, you know, pull your uh, slices off there. So what I do is I really, you know how you do when you wedge a, pizza, a peach, you kind of go in there and you cut. It's not pretty, um, you know. So this is something that's not bad for a peach cobbler or this, you know, this dish, these scalloped peaches. And this is really what I do, is I just, I kind of do that thing. You could also do it this way. You could peel down this way on your peach. And then do this. So as I said, it's not pretty, but if you're doing something like this in a cobbler or a pie, it's not going to really matter so much, the prettiness of it. So I'm going to finish off peeling these and slicing them, and we'll be back. So I'll tell you, this is such an easy recipe. Uh, it calls for breadcrumbs. Now, I haven't had panko. So they didn't have panko back in the 40s, but we're going to use panko today. And I have some melted butter here. I have noticed in these recipes that are in this cookbook, they're very uh, heavy, very comforting foods, which I think, of course, would make perfect sense considering they were, you know, uh, in the, the midst of, you know, the 40s and there was war and there was, um, uh, you know, rationing and what they could get, uh, they made last, you know, made stretch on their families. So these were all very, a lot of very heavy, very filling so when you look at breadcrumbs, right, um, soaked in butter, well, there you go. And of course, I believe butter was one of the rationed items. So this had to have been a very special, special dish. So I've got these coated with butter, 
and I'm going to bring in a pan. Now this is a, you know your standard eight by eight or nine by nine, and it is to be a layering. And I, here's my peaches, and actually, you know, they turned out looking pretty nice, didn't they? So, um, and the pan has been buttered, and I'm going to put in. It says a layer, so I don't know how much a layer. I'm not going to get much of a layer here. Uh, maybe two. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Actually, I think I should have probably. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to get a smaller casserole. I feel like I've got a casserole dish here that's more ap appropriately sized um, it's because this is three cups of peaches. So I'm going to put a layer of these in here and then some of the breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to sprinkle some brown sugar on this. It's pretty rich. This is a half a cup of brown sugar and you know I don't think I'm probably going to use all that. And then we're going to do a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Recipe calls for a, 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 a teaspoon of cinnamon. Well, I'm just going to wing it there. And I'm going to put some more peaches down. And that's actually going to be it. I don't think I'm going to be able to use all those uh, breadcrumbs either. All right. Interesting how recipes are. I'm going to put some more. It did say to, to finish the recipe with the uh, breadcrumbs on top. And I'm going to try to nestle a little bit of these down in there. And you know, I just realized now I should have put this brown sugar on before the breadcrumbs. Well, that's all right. And a little cinnamon. Yeah, I really, I really messed that up. I, I did it opposite. See, we all make mistakes in the kitchen, don't we? So I'm going to try to finesse this a little bit. I think I'm going to just leave it at that. So it's going to, like I said, just kind of finesse it a little bit here. And that is, that is going to be that. Now I'm going to put the lid on this and it's going into a 350 degree oven. Oh, here's the one. I almost forgot this. A half a cup of water. Now I have no idea why this is going in, but I'm following the recipe, right? So it's a, we will find out together kind of a thing. So the lid is going to go on this. It's going into a 350 degree preheated oven. It's going to cook 15 minutes with the lid on. 15 minutes with the lid off and we'll be back and look at this oh my gosh it looks beautiful it smells amazing so we're going to serve up a little bit of this in a bowl with a little bit of whipped cream and we're going to take a sample mm -mm -mm. okay oh it's, it's very tender nice little crusty on the edge oh doesn't that look lovely oh boy I know it's going to be rich, very rich, but let's, let's do it here and let's, uh, you know, let's do a little crown and glory here, a little whipped cream. Woof, there we go. All right, I think we should take a sample taste of this. Does that look just too beautiful or what, huh? All right. Well, he's here, right? He's here. He knows there's Food. dessert. Mm, go ahead. Give it a shot. Okay. And we're going to see how it tastes. Did you get any fruit? You got fruit, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Oh. Oh yeah. Now, okay, I'll taste it and then I'll tell you what I think. I think that's good. Mmm. 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 That's quite delicious. It's quite, um, very, um, what do you think? I think it would have been better with actual breadcrumbs. Don't Instead you? of the panko? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, the panko is kind of lightweight, mm, mm -hmm. but the fruit is delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. And the unsweetened uh, unsweetened whipped cream kind of cuts the sweetness of the... And I am so glad I did not put all of that uh, brown sugar in there. It called for a whole half cup. Well, that was it was too much. Mm -hmm. But um, the peaches are delicious. Mm. And the crumbly thing, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's very good. I mean, it's very tasty. 
Yeah. Would you like, like, would you recommend that if you have people make it? Yeah, I'd recommend it, but I'd recommend you use the breadcrumbs mm -hmm. because the panko gets a little wet. Wet? Well, I well, added you know water to it. I think I'd uh, do it without the without water. Without the water. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I, I delicious. you know, you have to try these things that come out of books from your mom's day, and yeah. it was very interesting. If, if nothing else, I it was, plan on having something. Yeah, I'm sure he does. All yeah. right, well, there you are. That's that's one of my mom's uh, cookbook uh, recipes, and we're just going to keep plowing through. And um, that's that. I'm so glad you came by. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for uh, giving us a thumbs up. You know, you got to give those thumbs up. There's something about those algorithms. They love it when you see a thumbs up on there. Check out my Amazon store. We now have little videos in there, so you can go on there and see little videos of my reviews of things and little demonstrations. Lots of fun. That's it. <laughs> That's enough. All right, everybody. Take care. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye.